always had a curious mind. I always wanted to know what was the exact reason that caused this thing to happen. So naturally I was inclined towards sciences and math and music, interestingly, um, because those three things all kind of work together with how my brain worked. And um, throughout primary school, I always did well in sciences. In secondary school, I also excelled in science, integrated science, and at that point, I felt as though I should go into medicine. So I did the sciences, biology, chemistry, mathematics at Cape, and I did pretty well. <laughs> um, and then I got admitted to university at the University of the West Indies to do a biochemistry and chemistry double major, which was a lot of work. I hated biology, hated with a passion. I could not stand biology. I really loved chemistry. I did my honors thesis in um, chemistry, um, specifically in inorganic chemistry. Um, it just uh, was very analytical and mathematic, and I really loved that part about inorganic chemistry. And then I pursued a Master of Public Health because I wanted to use my um, mathematical skills and my background in science to really um, help public health, essentially. So I wanted to um, understand population health and have a large impact on multiple people at a policy level and with statistics and epidemiology. So that was, and still is, a major passion of mine. Currently working on identifying genetic and epidemiological profile of women of African ancestry with an aggressive form of breast cancer. So generally in uh, breast cancer research, we see that there's a higher prevalence of breast cancer in white women compared to black women. Um, those rates have started to converge, but historically there more white women have been diagnosed with breast cancer than black women in the US. And when we look at the mortality rates, we see that there is a higher, higher mortality rate in black women compared to white women in the US, which is really alarming because if more white women are getting breast cancer, why aren't? Why are more black women dying from breast cancer? Now, breast cancer is broken down into different subtypes, and um, different subtypes have different aggressiveness and clinical course. And the most aggressive subtype right now is called triple negative breast cancer, and that particular breast cancer is disproportionately affecting black women. So in the US, for example, the triple negative breast cancer rate in white women is 10%. However, in, in black women in the US, it's as high as 22%. So the prevalence is double that um, in black women for triple negative breast cancer. So what I'm studying is why does this happen? Why, what is driving this higher prevalence of triple negative breast cancer? And how can we target these tumors? So the reason why triple negative breast cancers are so aggressive is because they lack the expression of three receptors. That's why it's called triple negative. So these three receptors, if one or two of them are present, drugs can attack um, those tumors. So if the tumor is tested positive for one or two of these receptors, um, targeted therapies can enter the cell and kill those tumors. However, in the triple negative breast cancer, they don't have these receptors, so therefore there are no targeted therapies. Um, in addition to that, the triple negative tumors have a high propensity to spread to important organs like the brain, the liver, and the lungs. Um, so that's driving this higher mortality rate that we see in triple negative breast cancer. So currently I have samples from Nigeria, Barbados, and we're also getting samples from Jamaica for us to investigate the, um, the genetic profile of uh, these tumors in these women of African ancestry. I would go, to, go into a room and I'd be the only black person, or there'll be another black person, but it wasn't, um, it was not the majority. So it was interesting transitioning being a minority. Um, it was also a challenge dealing with the weather. So I had no, all of my clothes, I had a lot of shorts, a lot of t-shirts, vests. I can't wear them, for, I can only wear them for maybe two or three months of the entire year. Um, so having to look for winter clothes, the food, I really miss the food. When I moved here, I put on about 20 pounds, to be honest. A lot of people can't see it. I can see it, um, which is fine. It's good for insulation. I really want to help 
um, the Caribbean region in the area of STEM. I'd really hope to somehow, some way, try to pump money into the Caribbean so that students don't have to be working so hard just to get a master's um, degree. Obviously, yes, work hard, <laughs> um, but not working in an environment where they lack antibodies or they lack um, equipment to do experiments and, or, or resources for uh, pro professors that are in the fields that they need. Um, there's definitely a lack of that in the Caribbean right now and I would really hope to change that someday.